Hey guys, Bloody Dot Productions here, and this is a tutorial. This is not a part three of MMD Animation 101. This is an actual tutorial. Hooray! Um, how to convert the Sims 3 hair or clothes or shoes or whatever you want to MMD. I'm going to be converting hair, but it's basically the same process as doing clothes and other stuff like that. So yeah, you will need four programs. You'll need PMD or PMX Editor. Um, that's obvious. It's really obvious, honestly. Um, you'll need The Sims 3 game. If you don't have the game, then you probably won't be able to do it. Well, maybe. There might be another way to convert the hair. If there is, I don't know that way, but for this way, you need to have the Sims 3 game. You need um, also TSR Workshop, and you finally need Metasequoia. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, but you know what? It's all good. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to download a hair from wherever you want. I usually download my hair from the thesimsresource.com. So I'm just going to download this simple hair. It looks really cute. And I'm going to wait for it to down... 10 seconds, wow. Um, I'm going to wait for it to download. And it should... download... in a few minutes, as soon as the swirly goes away. There we go. So we have that, and it's a zip file, so I may need to... Let me make a new folder just for this tutorial. New folder, we'll call this tutori oops. tutorial here. And we're going to open the zip file, and we're going to put the hairs here. And honestly, I only need the adult hair. I really don't need the child or the toddler hair. I don't. So now that you have a Sims 3 pack, it could be a package file too, doesn't matter. Um, you want to open up TSR Workshop. Na, 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 na. Yes. Create new project, new import, browse, and then look for um, the folder we just made. And make sure that the drop down over here is set to Sims 3 Pack or Package. It depends on what you have, which mine's a Sims 3 Pack. So I'm going to select Sims 3 Pack. Uh, no, it's not a Sims 4 Pack. Next, we're going to call this um, Convert. Oops. Next. Okay. You're going to wait for a minute. You're going to wait for a minute. And as you can see, we have a nice, pretty, pretty, pr oh, maybe pretty hair. Let me make it a little bigger. There we go. We have a nice, pretty hair. And we need to export the texture and the mesh. So to do that, go to the texture um, tab up here. Select the, uh, we don't need that. Select this right here whatever and then click on the down arrow and then click export and we're going to save it as a png we're going to call it text for short texture for short save okay and we're going to see if it's saved it did hooray and then you want to export the mesh so go to the mesh tab and click on the little box with the red arrow, click on that, save it as drop down menu, save it as an OBJ, we're going to call this hair, save, okay, and you're pretty much done with the TSR workshop, that's all you had to do, oh my gosh, that was so easy, Dolly, what, 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 okay, uh, that's pretty much all you had to do, so you can just exit off of that, then you want to open up Metasicolia, which I will provide a link in the description for everything, so don't worry. So we're going to have a Metasequoia, Metasequoia, I don't know how to pronounce that. We're going to open the hair, OBJ, okay, and for some reason it's really, really tiny. I don't know why, 
but you will fix this in PMX editor. So file, save as, and X file, the direct 3D retain mode, X file. We're gonna call this hair. Just click OK. And then open up PMD or PMX editor, it doesn't matter which one. File open, find the hair. And you see it doesn't look like it's there, but it is. You want to highlight it, select OBJ, scale, or in OBJ, the drop down menu, scale, complex scale. And you're gonna make it bigger. You remove it first. And you're gonna make it a little bigger. Now it looks kind of weird because we haven't put the texture in there. We forgot to put texture in there in the Metasicolia. But to do that, you just click on the material, type in text, or whatever you named your texture.png, and the texture does not look right. So we're gonna find a hair texture for this. Hair texture, realistic, I want realistic hair texture. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I could probably use B2. Just go ahead and refine that. There it is. And I'm going to use B2 for this. Oops, go away. Go away. I don't care. B2, it's a JPEG, but who cares? Right click, rename, copy, paste, oops, wrong one. There we go, that looks a lot better than what we had before. So this is basically how you convert Sims 3 hair to MMD and if you look at my one of my tutorials I'll put a link in the description of where that tutorial is because it's not a it's not a recent tutorial it's kind of old but it's how to add bones and physics and joints to your hair so that's a whole other tutorial but that's how you convert Sims 3 hair to PMD MMD whatever you want to call it so yeah um thanks for watching bye